So here, um, the worker can't connect to Redis because I have not exposed Redis yet. So there is not uh, a DNS entry for Redis yet. So I, I need to do to do that. So let's split the screen and let's do kubectl expose deployment Redis. So when I do that, it's going to complain telling me, hey, what's the port number? If I don't know the port number for Redis, uh, I'm lucky because I have a little help here because the, the error message just above tells me, oh, I can't connect to Redis port 6379. So I'm going to put port 6379 here. And then I'm going to wait and see what happens. Um, on, on, so on the top half, that's the logs of the worker. And the worker has an infinite loop where if, if there is a problem, instead of uh, exiting, it's going to stop, wait 10 seconds, and retry. And, and retry just forever. It's the, um, it's the kind of cloud native way, so to speak, of handling errors where, um, on, on, on a small system, if you just have like two or three components, it feels fairly reasonable that if, if some component is down, uh, and you need to call that component, then it's like, okay, I'm, I'm the web server. I want to talk to the database. Database is down. I can't do anything. Yeah, fine. If, if the database is down, it's, it's game over. But if you are on a bigger system, you have dozens, maybe hundreds of servers. Um, I can't remember who said that the first time, but it's basically any system that is sufficiently complicated is never 100% up at any given time. There is always something that is broken somewhere. It doesn't mean that the entire system is down, but it means that in my maybe 500 containers, there is always at least one container somewhere that is broken. But it's okay, because that container is probably a part of a set of identical containers behind the load balancer. And so if one of them is down, it's not a big deal. So in that case, the, the behavior of my code, instead of being like, oh, I couldn't connect, I should just give up, uh, the behavior should be to retry, because eventually the service that I try to contact will be back, and I will be able to connect, and, and everything will uh, fall in place and, 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 and be fine again. So here, that's exactly what happened. Um, my code tried like stubbornly again and again to connect to Redis, and once Redis was up, it, it could proceed to the next thing. And the next thing gives me this error, which is fail to establish a connection, name does not resolve, and if I look um, closer, I see that it's trying to connect to host RNG. Right, I also need to expose RNG. So here, I do kubectl expose deployment RNG, and this time the port number is 80. I'm going to uh, get a little bit ahead of myself and also expose Hasher, since it has exactly the same behavior. And then I'm going to give a minute. And that's it. Now you can see on top the logs of the worker, as now it, it, it was able to connect to Redis, to RNG, to Hasher. So now my worker uh, works. So my application is now up and running, exactly as it was this morning when we started the first time. 